Oh boy, did we have a rude awakening last night? Where'd we end up at anyway? Um, we got the knock on the door. Yeah, Bass Pro Shops over there. They have an RV friendly lot. Yeah, we got the knock on the door at 1 a.m. And uh, yeah, you can't stay here. Oh, I'm feeling a little rough this morning. A couple things going on. Get a dead battery. <laughs> Two dead batteries. Three dead batteries in the coachman. I think my battery's almost dead. And the camera too. <laughs> so it's down to, what was that, 7%? Yeah, so I got a bunch of dead batteries this morning. The refrigerator's not running this morning because that battery went dead. The generator won't start because that battery went dead. We got some things under control today. Come on, girl, let's go in. I gotta get another coffee. Oh, maybe today will be better. So, yeah, last night was a little rough. This morning's uh, not off to a great start, but I, I can't complain. We're in Florida. Uh, we almost got out of the, well, we got, we did beat the extreme cold that a lot of the country's suffering right now. But uh, yeah, it's 31 degrees this morning. So just one degree below freezing. Uh, but tonight was the cold night. And uh, yeah, just north of us. I mean, not far north of us. I think Tallahassee and uh, Pensacola is well, well below freezing, like in the low 20s uh, or even high teens. So we, we kind of got out of that just in time, I huh, girl? What, what's going on here? So the refrigerator, yeah, the open it up to get the, and the light didn't come on. I'm like, oh no, this is only three times this has happened in uh, a year and a half. Uh, the battery's under the bench seats. I got 400 amp hours of battery. That's a lot to get us through, but you know, it's been cloudy and stuff. And uh, there's my battery charger. Just turned it on. Well, uh, how am I powering that without running my generator? Well, I do. I always keep this around for backup. Yeah, uh, it's dark down here. Uh, but this thing is uh, it's down to 64% because it's one of them big battery. Uh, hang on a second. I gotta get my uh, light out. A little dark down here. Uh, this is at FF Powers. It's a knockoff of uh, Ocatel's. Same thing, like the Ocatel P2001 or whatever it is. And uh, I heated, it turned down to about 60% roughly. I heated the electric blanket last night with it. <laughs> so it was already down some, but even at the current rate, uh, it'll run for three more hours at the current rate. Uh, putting out uh, 275 watts to the battery charger. That is now on. Uh, that is running this battery charger to uh, get these batteries back to life and uh, get my refrigerator back on. And uh, the app says, yeah, that was down to the 10.6 volts. Now it's up to 12.4. Okay, it was on a zero capacity and 10.6 volts, I think. So uh, in a short time, it's it's climbing back up. So I could probably restart the re inverter, uh, which is over here. Uh, yeah, we had some cloudy days and normally I have plenty of battery to even get through cloudy days to run that. Uh, but uh, I played video games last night a little bit. So I got myself for my birthday. I have a, <laughs> oh yeah, PS1 S. Um, so that put an extra hurting on it. And then my internet router runs on that now too. So, uh, you know, after them cloudy days, I, I should have paid better attention to the, my battery level and maybe not played video games last night. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, so I have this remote. My inverter is down here. It runs the refrigerator. I'm going to turn that on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, the light came back on. All right. So, that's how many batteries now. I got the battery of the, uh, I replaced the battery of the camera one, as soon as I came in. Got that battery under control. What else is wrong? Oh, the generator. All right, dug this one out. I keep this one back in the bedroom. This usually runs the TV <laughs> when we're, we're traveling and not plugged in somewhere. Uh, this one, it's just a little 300. Let me see, what's its status? Is it gonna have some power? Or if I run the heck out of, run it down too. Get some recharging to 
Oh, it, coincidentally, it's at 64%. Uh, that's plenty. Uh, I gotta take this outside. And where's my battery charger at for the generator? That's this guy. This has like a uh, motorsport battery in it. Uh, so uh, we're gonna get that plugged in, get that battery happy again. I kind of was negligent and I left that. That generator is fine to leave it on if you're using it regularly. But then if you're gonna go a couple of days or, or longer without using it, you should shut the power off. So over time, it will just have the power on. Uh, having that circuit enabled for the starter and stuff, it will drain the battery. Ooh, at least the hot water tank is working this morning. I need to wait for a shower too. <laughs> Hang on, let's let's do this. Let me turn you sideways for a minute. Fucking latch that. All right. Yeah, the bat. It's not dead, dead, but it's it's low enough that. It tries to turn it over, but it won't start. So, so here, we get this guy. Okay, let's get this guy. There's a turn the power back on. It went off by itself. On? Hello, anybody home? All right, 64%. Uh, let's turn this on. Hold it in for a couple seconds. Okay, little green lights on. Okay, let's uh, plug this in. Okay, let's plug this in. Okay. Now, it should go green. Where is it? Is it green? There it goes. Okay. Until, until I plug it in, then it's going to detect. Hey, there's a... See, there it goes red. So, I turn, turn this power back off. See, that's it. If you're not going to use it for a while, this needs to be turned back off. You know, when it's when you're using it regularly and it's running it's recharging itself and, and that's fine you can leave it on if you're using it you know like every day um, then when you then when you're not you're not going to use it for an extended period uh, you need to turn that off or it will die so what's that got the refrigerator batteries getting happy we got the camera battery we got that battery what else what have we got left you know what all my time at the beach and stuff. I wonder how much sand and stuff is on my solar panels. It's probably, they are probably due to be cleaned. Hang on, hang on everybody. Ooh, I'm carrying us all up the ladder at the same time. Something just fell. What's these things looking like up here? Oh, uh, not terrible. Uh, they could use wiped off, huh? But, uh, not, not bad. So, uh, fortunately, these batteries are happy. They're 13 3 this morning. Um, is this ready to go? Okay. All right. Okay, everything's back on again. Oh, yeah, my internet router is back on again. I probably I should have internet here now. Um, yeah, internet's back on. Yeah, we just, just beat the cold. There, see how cold? I mean, that cold came down. I love using this temperature map. Um, yeah, it's uh, pretty frigid. That's... Uh, the whole way, even down to Galveston. Wait a minute. Look, there's that little bit. Even Galveston's down about this cold where we were. So we come up across. <laughs> and it was still kind of nice up until yesterday. That cold moved down last night. And we just got across in time. And at least down in here to the blue where it's well, on the edge of freezing. So uh, we're, we just got out of the more extreme stuff. Uh, anyway, we'll probably be going. It's all going to retreat back. Uh, today and uh, it might come back in a couple of days. Even out west, it's pretty, you know, freezing. Blue and whites, blue and whites. Although we have this to go into, lower Florida, where it's warmer. Out here, it's like uh, a couple little spots. Maybe you can find some warmth. Oh, so back to those uh, power things uh, for a minute. See, they are nice to have when sometimes you just. Uh, conditions they uh <laughs> happen that they're hand super handy to have around i uh, i could have pull started i could have got out of this little jam here but i could have used the pull starter and still started the generator which would have put power to the all the uh outlets and stuff i could have plugged that uh, charger in up there into that plug and you know got that going and you know 
left it run for a while, let it charge its own battery again, then remember to shut it off. Uh, yeah, I could have got it out of that jam, but uh, these come in handy too. I'm happy with uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, generator batter battery needed uh, topped off. And it's easy to top it off and uh, without having to run a generator for, you know, for so long uh, to charge itself up. So I just plug it into that for a while. And and um, what was I? Oh, squirrel. Uh, let me see. And like later on, this will this will be fully charged. This will have excess power later because it's gonna be sunny. This will this other that'll get caught up later because it's sunny. I can plug them things back in and recharge them when I have a surplus of power. I just haven't been managing my power uh, very well the last couple of days, and uh, it caught up to me. And Bella's thinking, "Well, you sure got a lot to say this morning." Huh? <laughs> it's all this talk so early in the morning. Why don't you be quiet and drink your coffee? I'm trying to chill out here. Huh? You need a little more sleep this morning too. Yeah, we got woken up. Oh, I had to move the rig. Get resettled. Alright. <laughs> Alright, once that sun's up a little higher. I'll just let the solar take over it's just not high enough to be uh giving it much input uh much power input come on get up a little higher i'll turn that battery charger off yeah and let the solar take over yeah out of uh 500 uh watts of solar on the roof it's only taking in 82 watts because uh, once the sun comes as the sun gets higher that wattage will will come up and, uh, so she's not taking in a whole lot yet with a for all the front of the sun's up oh let me clear something up here somebody probably will say well maybe that battery died because it's below freezing out and i'm going to say no it's underneath the bench seat you know there's at least a an inch of styrofoam insulation in this wall so you got uh this layer which uh, whatever and uh, the styrofoam the uh, inside paneling then there's an airspace um and then the, the batteries are in there uh so it's 67 degrees inside the coachman right now so you know it's only one degree below freezing yeah only one degree and it's got insulation and an airspace before the battery and we're at 67 so no, the batteries are not that compartment is uh even though it's closed it, it's still it's at the very coldest you know it's maybe it's still probably 55 or 60 under that bench because all the surrounding areas just everything's warm all right let's see how we're doing here all right the thing is uh must be all charged up it's in the green now so let's make sure it didn't it's not because it lost connection or something let's plug it back in a sec Does it stay green all right let me get this out of here and i'm gonna uh, turn this on let's just verify we're all ready to up and run again I can get this all put away. Get that locked back up. Get all our systems. Get all our systems back online. Okay, turn, turn this off. Off. That'll take a minute to go dead. All right, where's our remote? Well, it's cold out there. That generator's cold. Um, it'll it'll automatically try, I think, up to five times. Come on, try the second. Come on. There she goes. All right, the uh, generator's back online. Things are powering. <laughs> Things are powering up. I'm gonna let it warm up a little bit. And then probably just go out and shut everything back down but at least it's back on the ready again and then what i'll do is while that uh, generator is running i'm actually go ahead and run it a little bit and then i'll replenish this my uh emergency backup power for when i screw up <laughs> if that thing's gonna uh too far behind yeah this will be 2000 watt hours when fully charged ran down to 27 percent uh, i'm charging the other battery this morning that's gonna take 72 minutes to fully charge uh, yep. Get, get things caught back up again. Yeah, let me turn this on. Okay. 
generator ramps up, charging that, and running the coffee pot. Hard to generator pick up. What I meant by uh, you know, managing my power better is usually I anything that's charged, I do it when the sunshine is abundant. And I've just been slacking lately. So it'll be a good time to top this off too. So get that uh, get that going. That was down to 54. Alright, it's gonna start taking in 69 watts. I'll take a bit to charge. Uh, <laughs> I need to get with it. I got I got lazy here the last few days and uh, I've got plenty of power if I just pay attention to things a little better. Uh, and I'm also going to take advantage of I uh, plug that charger into the 110 outlet up there. And while the generator is running, we go ahead and replenish that so it's ready for next time I screw up, like I said, and I uh, plug it in there while it's while it's running. Might as well take advantage of the generator running. So as soon as that tops off, I'll shut shut it all down. And uh, that's it. And remember to shut the switch off on the generator this time too. There. Then this is something else I've kind of fallen behind on too, is uh, the generator needs some love. Yeah, it's running as smooth as can be right now while it's under a load, but when it idles down, you know, say I wasn't charging that big, that my uh, my backup power. Hang on. Okay. As soon as I take the load off of it, let me unplug it. Okay. What? under a low load like when it's idling it surges okay. dirty carburetor that's what that is I've had that thing almost 10 years it's only done this one other time and when it starts getting uh, dirty enough to do that I, yeah I gotta take it apart clean the carburetor put it back together and it comes back to just idle smooth again that's a that's a sign of a dirty carburetor. So, um, but just gonna, I'm not gonna do it here. I'm not gonna do it. I probably won't do it anytime soon even. There, I went in and shut it off. It'll, it'll make do, I'll make do with it. That's a job I'm not gonna do. It's just more involved. I'm not gonna tear that out of there and tear it apart, you know, just somewhere. If it gets worse, uh, I'll just deal with it then. If we're stopped somewhere for a period and it's worse, I'll uh, maybe I'll dive into it. Otherwise, it's just gonna have to be a rough runner under uh, uh, like that until we get back to Pennsylvania in the spring. <laughs> Heck with it. <laughs> and no, I'm not gonna run sea foam or anything like that through it. No, no additive, additives will get that dirt out of there. It might improve it briefly temporarily but that's a um, that's a band-aid you know how I feel about additives uh, the snake oil snake oils I say some people swear by stuff I've never had luck with additives and uh, still end up doing the job anyway it, at best you might delay it put it off for a little bit but I know there's dirt in that carburetor and it needs taken apart clean put back together fixed fixed so I'll get to that whenever I get to it. I called over at Bass Pro Shops and I asked them what their policy was of using the lot in RVs. And they said, and uh, she said, yeah, uh, yeah, you can park mm -hmm. overnight. I said, well, would it be okay if we stayed a second night? She says, yeah, that's that's fine. Um, she says, just please park uh, as close as you can to the dog park. And it's right there. I can't get much closer. Unless <laughs> that guy in the van moved. Um, but yeah, just to... I guess because the employees use that upper part of the parking lot up there. There's plenty of space down here. So I'm going to see if Jeff and Elijah want to maybe hang out here in Gainesville for a day. Might unhook the car or the uh, the truck. Maybe uh, go do something around the area uh, today and then uh, stay one more night before we get on our way. Uh, that would work for me. Yeah, because even this cold weather, you know, it only got down to 31 last night. Uh, it was just for one night it's gonna that's gonna retreat uh, tonight's not gonna be uh, near as cold so warm weather be back huh